Hello out there, everyone. This is Andre, the Game Idea Guy. Thank you very much for lending me your time and your ear and listening to another idea that will work out on the Wii U. Uh, and this one, I have a returning friend for this. Yeah, my Wii U zapper. Um, my Wii zapper, I mean. I wish the Wii U zapper would have come out and I could have gone ahead and placed the gamepad in here as my screen. Mmm, and... That's why it needs the. That's why we need the Wii U zapper because it would have had the mounting piece for that. But um, <clears throat> this idea I've been working on for a minute. Like it's been something I've been thinking about for a minute. Um, I don't know how many people have seen this movie. It's kind of like obscure at this point. Um, it's called They, T H E Y They. That's the the name of the movie. Um, it has a premise. Uh, the premise of it is that these, the basic premise is there are these children who were marked by these, these shadowy beings, like, they don't have a name, um, but they were marked by these beings, and then, uh, they later on came back, like, in the adult life of these children to take them, um, like, and, and they were, like, in closets and, like, really dark spaces and things like that, as far as I remember. I mean, I've only seen the movie once, and it was way back in my teens. So, so um, I might be a little foggy on the details. But that aside, <clears throat> I would cut the the capturing kids and branding them thing. I would, I would cut that. Uh, what I would stick with is the, the shadowy unknown figures kind of like giving them a boogeyman effect but um the shadowy unknown figures that will snatch people and take them away like and as they take these people these people become them which is how their numbers grow and how they multiply um <clears throat> so like this this kind of would be set in a post post apocalyptic kind of world where they have already wiped out at least 50% of the human race. I I'd say I'd say to to make it to make it make more sense. We're down to about 30% of the planet being human. <laughs> like 30% of the planet being human. Uh I mean 30% of the 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 human 30% of what the population was is human. That that's a better way to put it. Um, so, these creatures would be affected by light. Like, they can't be within light. Like, light hurts them. I mean, it doesn't hurt them outright, but it does weaken their, their exteriors and makes them capable of being defeated. So, you, you wouldn't just take a gun and shoot one of these things and think that that was going to hurt it because it would still keep coming. But if you had, say, a flashlight aimed on it and you shot at the spot that you were aiming the flashlight you could hurt it and slow it down. And if you could get the light on his head, shoot it in the head, it would die. So, um... I, but, like, that was what I was thinking. That was what I was imagining. Um, and for this, I would definitely say, um... I would like to have that kind of cell-shaded 3D kind of look. Because I think it would... It, it, for this, it would feel better. Like it can still be gritty, but it would I would prefer the the, the cell shaded, three D look rather than a. I, I would prefer a stylized look over a realistic look. I, I want it to to look more like I'm playing in a comic book than in real life. That that makes more sense to say it that way. Uh, <clears throat> but basically, um, you'd use your zapper. With the gamepad mounted, if they if they were to make the Wii U zapper, if they were to put it out, I mean they already made it, but they never put it out for use. Um, C button would turn on and off your flashlight. B button uh, would be to reload your weapons. Your analog would be used just for strafing, like forward, back, left, right, that type of stuff. And aiming would be how you turn and shoot. Um, but the Wii U gamepad screen mounted on here would have the aiming reticle right in the middle of it. Like, so that you can aim and shoot. And 
utilizing it that way would also take away from having to use the screen like using the edges of the screen to turn because you can automatically turn and shoot and aim a lot faster with the gamepad as your as your screen like utilizing it that way like you could aim and shoot and all that stuff and the main screen would just mock everything that's on the gamepad screen but it would just be an expanded view basically so <clears throat> Your main screen would just literally see everything that's happening on the gamepad. If if you're playing one, if it's just one person playing, if it's one person playing by themselves, they would be able to more quickly turn and aim at things and shoot because they'd have like plus you have all the sound effects coming from the gamepad. So I would suggest headphones to be able to hear where things are coming from because because the gamepad is capable of 3D sound. So. <laughs> um, I'd I'd put if I was playing I wouldn't even have a TV on like if I was if this game existed I wouldn't even have a TV on I just boot the game up have the gamepad on here and I'd be fucking popping and shooting everything around me and have a headset have a headset on and listen to it and I would be happy like that to me would be fun that would be cool like the only reason I would have a TV on is to give someone else another zapper and. They would be utilizing the, the television screen because I would damn sure be utilizing the, the gamepad. I would not give that up to anybody. I would be using the gamepad because if you if you have the like, just put it this way. The gamepad would be like the gamepad is just basically sort of like a zoomed in first person look. Like you've already got the gun in your hand, so you don't need to see it on the screen. Like and you don't have to wait for the screen edges to move like you don't have to aim at the screen edges to turn your character around when you could just turn around yourself and boom 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 whatever whatever's coming is down uh <laughs> which that would be pretty cool like that like to me that would be on that would be awesome to do um like in this i would have definitely have like i wouldn't i wouldn't necessarily put a death match in this because of the type of game it is. That could be used for something else down the line. But um, for this, I would put in a co-op mode. I, I basically get make this like Left 4 Dead. I would make it like Left 4 Dead, but with the aesthetic and feel of The Walking Dead. Where you're constantly worried about whether or not you're going to be jumped and something happening to you. That's how I would use it. Like, so people can play online with other people. Like, you got your partners there with you and all that shit. <clears throat> now, say someone did actually want to use the television screen and they wanted to use the gamepad for another purpose. Then the gamepad could be used as a radar. Like, I would give that option to use it as a radar. And, but at that point, you're limiting yourself to whatever the main screen can do i mean there's the advantage of having the radar you can see things coming a little bit sooner because all you you'd have you'd be aiming at the screen or you got to do is quickly peek down at your gamepad while you're playing and then turn your character around and strafe a little bit and shoot so i mean there there are options that could could be utilized me personally i know i'd just use it as the main screen and be shooting at every goddamn thing <laughs> like because they, you can still put a radar, a small radar in the corner on the screen, like on a normal screen. Like, you could have the HUD available to you. Um, damn, I didn't even think about, like, switching weapons and all that shit. <laughs> um, well, the gamepad would just be used as a screen. Uh, a quick tap on one of the buttons up here, like, one or two could be used to switch weapons. Or, um, for healing items or whatever. Stuff like that, because uh, I de like with this, I definitely wouldn't want that Call of Duty Halo shit where you get you get hit a couple times and then you just automatically heal up. No, I want med kits and things that are placed around strategically so that once you make it to a certain point, you can heal yourself up, and and like safe rooms and stuff like that that are just constantly bathed in light, <laughs> no matter what. Um, mm. What else was I thinking about? I mean, I was at one point thinking about how to uh, incorporate the balance board in this, but every, like everything I could think of for the balance board could be done with the analog stick. 
and then well, like, and that was that became a problem unless I were to utilize the balance board to do all of the forward, back, left, right stuff, the strafing and shit. And again, the Wii U gamepad would be for your your um, turning, like the the gamepad and the the the, the motion controls would be for your turning. No matter what, I was I was going to go with that. The motion controls would be for your turning. Um, but then I could place like uh, med kits and reloading and stuff. Swapping weapons and med kits could be then relegated to the analog of the um, the nunchuck plugged into the Wii remote with the gamepad with the mounted gamepad and all that shit. Um, actually, that could work out that way. But I wouldn't want that to be forced on people, because I know how people are about not having options of control. Like, if you give people the, the option to be able to, to fiddle with the controls and choose how they want to play a game, they'll be a little bit happier, not always, but they'll be a little bit happier about it. Um, there was something else I was thinking of, <laughs> like, and it, it's escaped me. Oh, man. Um, definitely it would be a lo you could do local co-op with this we have one person with the zapper on the main screen and then the other person have the zapper that would have the Wii U gamepad mounted on it obviously I've said that already um, and then I said I would make it kind of like Left for, for Dead and the fact that you could have up to I'd, I'd say up to yeah up to four people four people is a decent enough size squad you don't need any more than that uh have up to four people running around just shooting at these shadowy figures just trying to survive and make it through and get to the next safe point and and rest for a night and all that shit. Uh, I'm not really going to delve into like story development and all that stuff because that's not really... <laughs> I mean, I could do it, but it's not really the main premise of why I do what I do on YouTube, so... The story thing would be an like that'd be another issue to to cover another time if something like this were to be made. It would be great though. Like it would be honestly to me, it would be fun. Like I, I understand people don't like gimmicks, quote unquote, but um, the gimmick of this generation was better graphics. That was it. It was better graphics because. No way in hell was it expanded worlds and more capabilities with the characters and stuff like that. It it was graphics this generation, <laughs> and uh, like, and I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm perfectly fine with that myself because you know I bit the bullet too and got an Xbox One. So I and and there are good games on those those platforms. And don't mistake and say, don't mistake me and say, oh, I'm just a Nintendo fanboy griping because I had to get something else other than Nintendo. I always intended to get the other platforms. Like Xbox One was going to be my next one after the after the Wii U. Like so, I'm keeping up with what I said I was going to do at least for me. But I mean, I just look at it and this is just like there's so many things that they could have done. Like they could have utilized it so much better. And I'm like, and this honestly, if EA would have stuck with that quote unquote unprecedented partnership with Nintendo, they could have had Dice make a game like that. And it could have been awesome. But they didn't. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears up for more stuff. And until the next time, enjoy your games. Peace out.